The employees are the key resources of the company. In 1999 to 2001, the IT companies were booming, and what they have started is that they have started employee stock option. So by giving their employees a stock option, they have been able to retain their skilled employees, and that's how they have grown. And not only, only the company and the promoter grows, but the employees of the company has also grown, and they have never left the company, and which is very crucial for the company to sustain and expand. This increases the innovation and entrepreneurial spirit. Capital market helps in distributing risk more efficiently by transfer of risk to those who are best able to bear it. Overview, SEBI has issued a circular, the main regulatory body, they have issued a circular on May 18, 2010 for setting up a stock exchange trading platform. Accordingly, they have made the amendments and gadgeted it. Model equity listing agreement has been notified. If your post issue pays value capital is, more, is up to 10 crores, then your company should compulsory get listed on the SME platform. In case your capital is post issue face value capital is between 10 to 25 crores, you have the option either you get listed on the SME platform or you can go and get listed on the main board and beyond 25 crore post issue paid up capital, you have to compulsory get listed on the main board. But besides that, what other thing that Sevi has said that I am not covering in this uh, presentation is that your operating profit should be 15 crore in each of three years out of five years. So if your operating profit is below 15 crores, then you have to compulsory get listed on the SME platform only. The minimum application amount as well as the minimum trading lot size should not be less than rupees 1 lakh. If an investor wants to invest in this company, they have to invest minimum rupees 1 lakh or in multiple thereof, not below 1 lakh. And these issues are 100% underwritten issues by the merchant bankers and compulsory merchant bankers have to underwrite 15% in their own books. In case the underwriters, under, other underwriters default in this, then the merchant bankers have to underwrite 100% of the uh, issue. There is a compulsory market making for three years, and this mar the market makers can only be the members of the stock exchange. These market makers have to provide the quotes in these scripts for 75% of the time in a day, and which will be monitored by the stock exchange. The minimum of depth of the quote shall be one lot. Say, for example, you are uh, coming with a stock at a price of, say, 50 rupees, then the lot size will be minimum 2,000. So if someone wants to invest in your company, they have to buy at least 2,000 shares of your company. And these market makers have to provide at least one lot each side while giving the bid and ask. Note more than five market makers for a script. Market makers may compete with the other market makers Market makers are allowed to deregister by giving one month notice, and the exchange has already prescribed minimum bid and ask spread. During the compulsory market making period, the promoters are not allowed to sell the shares to the market makers. Promoters, can't sell. promoters can sell the shares in the market, but they can't sell the shares to the market makers. However, promoters can't sell the share for one year. After, because for one year, all his shares are in locking. After one year, 20% of his shares are in lock-in and other 80% of shares are free, which they can sell into the market. And the 20% they can sell only after three years. Every all cleansing happens and your company gets listed and you find that everything is going on track. And the valuation of company, when every day you see that, okay, when I got listed, my, car, my market capitalization was around 15 crores. After six months, you find, find that your market capitalization has gone to 20 crores. Then after one year, 30 crores. And after another two years, your market capitalization has reached 100 crores. This will give you a lot of delight. And that's the reason. And what happens, the main thing what happens is, you know, even your shares become a collateral. Say, for example, today you have dil diluted 27, 28%. You don't want to dilute more. What you can do, your shares, you can give as a collateral to the banks. There are many other NPFCs also. You can give them as a collateral and get loan on it. So you are not diluting your shares, and at the same time, you are using it as a collateral for getting loans. So there are various advantages, and various other things happen, they start happening on the stock exchange once you get listed. But you, have, you should have the vision for that. You should have the dynamism for that. And you have to do the things a little bit differently, not much differently. Thanks a lot.